Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to look at a little error message that says we are unable to connect right now. Please check your network and try again later. It was frustrating me to no end, but we're going to show you how to fix it. Uh, as always, we will link to our guide in the YouTube video. And I want to mention real quick, one of the reasons we usually link to the guides in the YouTube video is if somebody else comes up with a fix that we didn't know about, we will add it to the guide, whereas we can't just simply add it to the video that easily. Anywho, your screen's going to look something like this, probably a little bit different. Uh, you may have your username showing up where you can edit it, and then your password, and of course you're going to have the error message, which I couldn't duplicate it because, you know, I fixed the problem. Anywho, all you need to know here is you need to actually go in and verify with NetPLWiz, that's your Windows key plus R to run it, and type in N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. Press OK or Enter, and that's going to bring up your user accounts. If what you see here is your box is unchecked, which is what you would think it would be, meaning you don't need to enter a username or password to log in, check it. Once you check that box, it is going to ask you to enter your username and password on your next reboot. So go ahead and check that box and reboot. Put your password in. Keep in mind that it's your Microsoft password, not any other password for Windows. It is the account you set up with perhaps Windows 10 when you first installed it. You set up a Microsoft account or your Microsoft Live account. That's the password you need. You can, of course, recover it if you don't know in the startup. Anywho, so you've now checked this, which is the backwards way of doing things, but it works and you've rebooted and you come back up and you put your password in now come back in and once again press the windows key plus r and open net pl Wiz again and when you do you got it uncheck it again put in your username put in your password repeat your password reboot and windows will stop asking you for a password that's right the answer to this problem is to uncheck or check the box to enter your username and password, reboot, and then uncheck it. So basically, you're just going to turn it on, turn it off. And for me, that worked, and that's it. There you go. Any suggestions, any problems, leave a comment. We always read the comments, and again, as we mentioned earlier, we will update the guide. As always, there should be a little Major Geeks logo right here. You can go ahead and click that to subscribe. Click like if we helped you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.